if you remember in one of my last live streams i have talked about having a plan to do just some basic c programming on openbsd just for the record i haven't coded anything in c over the last 12 years and currently my knowledge on c is almost non-existent but just out of my personal interest and curiosity i decided why not let's start doing some c coding again and probably during this uh, process i'm going to record videos and, do, and go live just to let's say embarrass myself so there are two major compilers available for c one is llvm clang and another one is gcc uh, which is actually by project genu so uh, for the llvm clang we have features as follows so it's basically the default compiler on openbsd it's con it it actually ships with the base system since version 6.2 prior to that one uh, openbsd used to use gcc but due to the licensing issue meaning that they have changed the license from uh, gpl2 to gpl3 plus then they had to actually use clank Speaking of the licensing, uh, LLVM Clang until version 8.01 used NCSA license, which is licensed by University of Illinois. And afterward, they have switched to Apache version 2, which is a very permissive license. And the code structure, in case anybody cares about it, is modular, so it's supposed to be easier to maintain and add the new feature, etc., etc. When it comes to GCC, it's the most known compiler or the compiler toolkit on the planet, has been around over 20 years, and it has a very solid reputation and also it's the one of the most uh, freedom respecting uh, compiler or is the most freedom respecting compiler because it uses gpl version 3 plus license and if the freedom in terms of richard stallman ideology is important to you then basically gcc is the best one to go but the code structure is monolith i have read on the internet that it is not as maintainable as let's say uh, llvm clang it has a lower code quality but that's not the problem for us because we are not going to study or deep dive into the gcc code base i mean that's way at least behind my capabilities so the final conclusion so let's go through the, some pros and cons of each of these compilers so about the clang so it's optimized for modern hardware as a result it is, it is a bit faster and also uses less memory this is some anecdotal experience it varies version to version but arguably around 10 percent is faster generally speaking uh, when it comes to the feature development, Clang is slower than GCC, especially on the C++ adoptions. For example, some C++ 20 features are missing on Clang, but our focus again would be on C yearly, so there's no difference here as well. There's no inline assembly support for Clang. This is due to how the LLVM is architected and also there is no support for legacy cpu architecture let's say motorola 88k i mean if you don't know just look it up it's 40 years old uh, cpu uh, on the other hand gcc actually has a better risk cpu architecture and legacy cpu architectural support not the latest version obviously for example speaking of the motorola 88k GCC currently doesn't support it, but if you use the GCC version 3, then basically you can use that. So chances are that if you just look up into one of the GCC version, 
you will find one that supports the architecture or whatever weird architectural CPU that you have in mind or you have in one of on, on you have it as a hardware and also it supports a AT&T assembly which I don't know really why because it's the one of the ugliest assembly on the earth but also it supports Intel assembly with passing one flag when, when you are compiling the code in terms of the performance it's a bit slower than Clang and also uses more memory when it comes to coding some C program on OpenBSD I think really the differences are negligible and it comes to the personal preference in my opinion for me I would prefer to use Clang because it's the default compiler on OpenBSD I mean if I use uh, if I want to code something on Linux probably I won't bother with Clang and I just go with GCC but on OpenBSD I would prefer to use Clang so my, as my main strategy is to use uh, whichever tool that is the most accessible and as long as it's open source I don't mind it but Nonetheless, I have also GCC installed on my computer because some packages require GCC. So I hope that this video has given you a very brief overview about these two compilers. And this video, by the way, is proudly produced and edited on OpenBSD fully.